Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Lucy McKenzie Humane Society. Once again, here we are, uh, Paula behind the camera there, doing wonderful work, Ros in front of the camera, and Esme here just waiting to be talked about and introduced. You are going to see some wonderful animals, and something about this time of the year makes me say, please, please open your hearts to one of the wonderful creatures here who need homes. We all need homes and we all need homes where we're loved. So please look very carefully at the program, watch us all the way through if you can bear to do that and um, see if you couldn't come up with giving somebody a home. So we're going to start today with Esme. Isn't that right, Esme? That's right. She said, um, I'm just an absolutely perfect, perfect cat. Uh, I'm friendly, as you can see, and she said I'm very good at choosing a really comfortable place to um, sleep and nap and just watch what's going on. It's a beautiful blanket here that somebody has obviously knitted, especially for the Humane Society here. And so Esme is uh, three years old and she's so sweet. She's got this lovely stripe around her here. And then she's got these stripes across, oh, beg your pardon, Esme. She's got these beautiful stripes across her body, too. I mean, very unusual looking, looking cat. And very relaxed, very laid back. And, um, you know, as I say so often, she'd like a sunny window uh, with the, one of those scented geraniums, cats like those. Um, and then in the evenings, hopefully you've got a fireplace and she would uh, like very much to be on your lap in front of the fire for the evening. And then, of course, that's right, and then, of course, you'll go upstairs, won't you, and take the best place in the bed? Of course. Of course. I mean, where else? So, <laughs> there you are, sweetie. Yes, that's right. That's lovely. So she said, please come and admire me. And as soon as you see me and meet me, you'll just know that you have to take me home. So now we have a wonderful surprise for you, the most gorgeous, handsome guy. His name is Dreyfus, and he's a year old. Uh, Paula's going to have her work cut out there, keeping up with him. So obviously, Dreyfus needs a lot of exercise. Uh, he's a highly intelligent dog, and he needs, um, and he's just, uh, Angie was telling me, this is Angie, that he's just learned to sit, so he's very proud of himself. So he definitely, definitely needs to go to classes, obedience classes. And then I think that he would uh, to be wonderful at the agility. And I think the main thing with this dog is that he needs a lot of exercise. So if you love to walk and hike every day, more or less, um, Dreyfus is the one for you. Um, he would love that. Do we know if he gets on with other dogs? He came in with another dog. So oh, yes. he came in with another dog. So he does get on with other dogs. So he would also love to have a fenced-in yard. Um, I would say quite high fencing, because I have a feeling that maybe Dreyfus might, might be a bit of a jumper. But I don't know. Maybe not. But anyway, so if he has a dog companion, he would love that too. And if not, if not get down. Down. Down, Dreyfus. Down. Um, yes, he said, I just want a bit of loving. Um, so he would be love to play out in a yard with another dog or not, but toys and things like that, and it would also give him some exercise. So um, I think he definitely needs training, um, and he definitely needs exercise. But I just, I've fallen in love with this dog. To start with, he's got the longest ears I've ever seen in a dog. <laughs> he's got a wonderful smile, and he's just, yeah, Dreyfus, down. He's just, <laughs> he's just a very, very willing, uh, loving dog. And I think that in time, it's going to require a little work. I'm not going to not say that. But what a, what a reward for all of you. Really, please come and see this dog. He's wonderful. So I'm introducing you to Lance. Um, lovable Lance, I call him. Uh, luscious, lovable Lance. He is very sweet and he... I know what he wants, this is a little kitty, a little kitty thing, but sweet little toy there. And that sign looks like, a trouble is it looks like a real mouse. Anyway, uh, Lance is just gorgeous. Look at this tail with the rings on it. Isn't that, am isn't that amazing? Looks as if he's descended, well he probably is from 
some wild cat, you know, one of those wild cats, isn't that right? But he said, I'm not wild at all. As you can see, I'm very, very, very friendly. I love everybody. Uh, here, Lance, here, here, Lance. Oh, they sure like these kitty things. And um, he said, I'll fit right in as soon as, as soon as you, whoops. <laughs> he knows I've got this thing up. I put it up there, okay, Lance. You are such a sweetheart. Yes, he said, and I've got extremely good manners. And, um, you know, I will uh, uh, be there when you come home from the office, and I'll be there to see you goodbye, say goodbye to you, and I'll look after the house or your apartment or condominium or whatever you have while you're, um, while you're away. I'll make sure everything's all right, and I'll certainly make sure that not a mouse not even the whisker of a mouse comes into your home. Um, I would be very good at that. And I would be just lovely when you come home. I'll be there to greet you and say, come on in. That's right. Come on in. And I'll, you know, I wish I could make you a cup of tea, but it's a bit difficult with my pores uh, or a cup of coffee. But anyway, come and sit down and just relax for a few minutes. Um, and I'll tell you all the things I've seen going past today. Whoopsie. <laughs> There they are. Can you get in? Woo! Woo! I know, that's the lovely... I don't think people want to see your rear end, dear. Let's put you around that way, all right? Yes, I like this cat. And, uh, uh, and he did whisper to me that he actually has a sense of humor as well. So we all need a sense of humor in this world. So I think you'd be doing a great thing if you were to come and see Lance. Lovable Lance. Because he's waiting to love you. Oh. You are very sweet. You are such a sweet guy. So I'll give you one more. And then, here, yeah, there you are. That's it. Now that's it, Lance. Well, got another great dog for you. This is Lux. And uh, she actually came in with Dreyfus. But they are going to go separately because I think together they're, they're a little overwhelming. So Lux is um, older. She's, what, seven, did we say? Three. Three. Oh, beg your pardon, Lux. Oh, how dreadful. Come, Lux, come here. Lux, come on, you're ready to be on camera, come on. She's sweet, and she's a Border Collie mix, um, and she's a tiny bit overweight, I think, um, I would say. So Paula, you've got your work cut out there, Paula, keeping up with her. Um, but she's a she's very sweet dog, but again, she's untrained and pretty bouncy. Um, so she, too, needs training. Um, and uh, lots of exercise, and we're just verging on being a little, little heavy just around here, as many of us are. Um, anyway, yes, you are sweet. No, get down. Don't jump up. Don't. No, down. Good girl. Good girl. That's it. Yes. See, she, she knows. She's bright, too, like a Dreyfus, and it would be a real pleasure to, to have this dog tra to train her and let her do agility too. And um, just every day do your lessons together. Um, she's very affectionate, as you can see. And I know, I know, great kisser. Aren't you, sweetheart? And um, I, really, I really like her too. Um, and I think uh, it would be very rewarding for both of you to, to do training. She, she does know to sit, because she sat for Angie just now. Um, but it takes a bit of time, and you know, she's very puppyish, actually, isn't she? Very puppyish. She said, oh, yes, I don't act my age. I like to act, and I can't imagine how she and Dreyfus must have been together. Boy, playing and playing and playing. So she does get on with other dogs. Um, of course, she would not be suitable for young children, but probably some you know, pretty stalwart teenagers. She would love that. And I'm sure that she would love to play football or something like that or get the basketball for them or, um, you know, also play baseball. Um, so she would love to do that. And as oh, you can see, see, and she's great to tell secrets to. She said, and I don't, I don't blab, I don't bark secrets. I just keep them to myself. <laughs> so isn't that right, sweetheart? Woo! Okay, so please come and see her. Why not give her a home for Christmas? Um, and again, she would like a lot of exercise, please, lots of lovely walkies and lots of time um, in, a, a, in your garden. Well, you don't want to have any of the flower beds, I don't think. <laughs> I don't think that would be a good idea. Um, but just somewhere where she can run around 
and um, just you uh, uh, uh. and you will love her. So, if you want someone to love, come and come and love Lux. She's a very lovable Lux. <laughs> <laughs> so this is Miss Kitty. Hey, Miss Kitty, Miss Kitty, Miss. Ki oh, look at the look at the white there. Isn't that amazing on her face? She's got wonderful markings, hasn't she? So Miss Kitty is about three years old, um, and like all the the cats in here. Um, she, well, she don't, most of the cats in here anyway do have something, um, some medical problem that needs to be addressed. Um, obviously, uh, none of them have a, an insuperable medical problem. It's just something that, you know, well, humans often have that sort of thing too. And Miss uh, Kitty has, uh, has a special diet to help with her urinary problems. And as long as she's on the diet, urinary problems will be just fine so please don't worry about that and she is just a very loving very sweet cat oh, and she's showing herself off a bit now she said look I can get up here and she's got white can you see the white on the on the on her back legs there isn't that sweet so um, and oh, she said I'm I'm very beautiful I think we're a tiny bit overweight perhaps um, oh wow and that beautiful, beautiful bib and the white whiskers, which sort of here. There you are, sweetheart. You found it? That's right. That's good, isn't it? I, I like this cat. I think she's very sweet. And she's just gorgeous, gorgeous looking. Look at that sleek coat. Now, now, Miss Kitty, have a look. That's right. She's called Kiki for short. And so she's got the bib and the whiskers and then she's got the white marking on her nose and she's got on her paws and then at the back she's got this sort of stripe here and then a black and that's very, very elegant, very elegant, Miss Kitty, aren't you, sweetheart? You are. I think you're wonderful. I really like you. And she said, well, I know somebody, I'm on, t I'm on TV, so I know that somebody in the audience there is going to think that I'm wonderful. They're just going to say to themselves, I have to have that cat. I have to have that beautiful cat in my home and in my heart. So please come and see her because she is very, very sweet. And come on, darling, can you get down? Yes, it. She said, I'm just giving you a little display of myself and how pretty I am. So please come and see Miss Kitty because she would really like to come home with you. Isn't that right, darling? <laughs> so this is Cadence. What a lovely name for a lovely dog. Cadence has been here for quite a while now, um, and we don't quite know why. She's very bouncy too, but you were saying that when she calms down... She's loving. Yes. When she calms down. She likes to sit on your lap and, and smooch. Is that right? Are you a smoocher? And when she walks, she's wonderful. She prances, you know, her front legs go out. And um, woo, she said, oh, I like this. I don't need to be on a leash because she said, I just love everybody. Um, and look at my tail. Oh, my. Oh, my. Oh, my. Yes. So again, this is a dog. But please, this is a dog that needs a home. She's been here for a long time. And I, none, of, none of us quite know why. Because, <laughs> come on. Uh, because she's so sweet. And um, yes, she's bouncy, but that's all right. Um, but she's very bright too. And again, you would have a lot of fun uh, walking her and training her. And you know, she said, oh, I'm showing off now. She said, I'm, I'm just beautiful and I'm clever. And look at me, look at me, she says. Oh, yes. How could you resist that? Please, give her the best Christmas. <laughs> Give her the best. Woo! Hey, hey, Cadence, Cadence. We need to talk. Oh, well, she said, I'm. She said, give me the best Christmas present in the world. Give me a home. That's all I want is a home and people to love. That's what most dogs, most people want, a home and people to love. So please, come and see Cadence. Yes, she's, bi she's big and she's bouncy, but she's also beautiful. And she has a very lovely, lovely, loving character and personality. So make her happy. Come and see her and take her home. Isn't that right, sweetheart? Yes. Right. So here I am introducing you to a shanty.
Beautiful. Now, Ashanti, you think we've got <laughs> you've got the wrong end. <laughs> so, Ashanti, could you would you mind turning around, dear, so that we can all see how beautiful you look? So, Ashanti is about seven years old, and um, the long haired, beautiful though, just beautiful. Um, look at this fur, isn't it lovely? And uh, she said, I, I'm I'm a bit shy about you know, but uh, on the whole. I'm pretty good about, and I do like to be loved and petted, of course, who doesn't? Um, so, now, Sh Shanti, can you turn around? Shanti, can you, uh, Shanti, can you turn around? Here. Come on, turn around so that we can see your front. There we are. That's a beautiful profile. Isn't she lovely? Um, uh, and, and she's waiting. Oh. Uh, Shanti, so, okay, sweetheart? Yes, isn't he lovely? And uh, he said, and I'm really pretty young. Seven sounds you know, older, but it's not. Cats can live for a long, long time. And I intend that when you take me home, I intend that I'm going to live for a long, long time, maybe 20 years old or something like that. So you can be sure that I will be around. I mean, I can't guarantee that. But Ashanti just really is very keen on life. He likes life. Um, fairly quiet life. Yes, he's not... Uh, He's not into rushing around and probably not into young children. I don't know that, but I just get the feeling about this cat that, that you know, he just, he likes to do his own thing and he likes his quiet time. Um, so there we are. I love all the fur. Probably a soft brush, I would think, every now and again. Would you like that, Ashanti? Would you? Would you like a soft brush? And such a sweet head. Can you turn around and show everybody your head? Mm. Mm -hmm. Well, he said, I'm not too sure I like being told what to do, but that's, that's a pretty feline problem, isn't it? No, they never like being told what to do, cats. They like to tell you what to do. So, I, I see. I'm sure that you'll come to accommodations, the two of you. Well, you want another one? One more, then, but you have to turn around to have it. Come on. Come on. But, but I rather like this cat. I think he's very quiet and modest. And, um, yes, just he'll tuck himself into your home and find his own little corners where he wants to be. And um, I think you'll enjoy him. Come and see him anyway and uh, give him a cuddle. And he's got beautiful green eyes. And, um, as the wolf would say, all the better for looking at you, my dear. Isn't that right, Ashanti? Okay, sweetie. So this is Myrtle. Um, Myrtle is, I've forgotten how old Myrtle is, but she's not that old, um, and she's a bit determined. She's very friendly, actually, but she's having a bit of a humph day, and she doesn't really want to come out, but now she has. Here you are, Myrtle, dear. Isn't she beautiful? She's um, tortoiseshell, and uh, she's, look, got the ginger and the, uh, and the black, and... No, you don't like those? All right. Come on, Myrtle. But she's actually very affectionate. And um, she really, really, really would like to find someone. Come on, Myrtle. Come on. You see her a little bit? Yeah. She really wants to go home. She said, um, I've been here. I don't know how long she's been here, but uh, Paula, do you remember seeing Myrtle before? Uh, no. No, no. So she may not have been here for very long. But she said, I, I really, you know, want my own warm and cozy home and my own warm and cozy people. Um, that I can look after and they will look after me and we'll have lots of cuddles and things like that. Oh, sorry, that's the washing machine in the background. <laughs> anyway, there you are, sweetheart. And she does love to be petted. You know, there's no problems there. Some, and her fur is very dense, very, very soft, very, very thick and very dense. It's beautiful, a fantastic coat and beautiful markings. So, Myrtle, can you look over here? Whoops, she said, I'm just, just showing you how clever I am at, at um, climbing. And, and I'm a clever cat, actually. Isn't that right, Myrtle? I think that's what she's trying to demonstrate to us. And she said, I've just got turned out of my bed where I was very comfortable. Uh, but Myrtle, isn't that right? Please come and see Myrtle. Take her home for Christmas, because that's what she'd like best of all. All right? Happy holidays from Lucy McKenzie.